advantage you can. Knowing I could get enough energy and protein was one thing, but seeing what a single animal-based meal could do to an athlete's blood sealed the deal. It was time to give this plant-based thing a try, but there was only one meat-free meal I could think of. Hi, what can I get for you today? Could I get two bean burritos, please? Bean or beef? Bean. All right, I'll see you at the window, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. When I went plant-based, I thought that it would be a longer transition, but I just immediately started feeling like I could go kick ass and not need the recovery in between. It was mind-blowing to my teammates. They were tired of me saying, like, let's go again and again. Recovery is the most essential element of an elite athlete's existence. It's damage repair, damage repair, and you do that over and over again. Because if you can do more work and more repair, you're gonna be the better athlete. Dotsie was right. Bouncing back quickly between workouts is a huge advantage for any athlete. But the idea that food could be the secret weapon, I had to find out more. Dr. Scott Stoll is a former Olympian and a team physician for the USA Olympic team. I work with professional athletes that are very interested in protein. Protein's important, but which package is your protein coming in is the better question to answer. The plant-based protein versus the animal protein, which package is going to help the body overcome inflammation and help the body to recover? In animal products, you're getting protein packaged with inflammatory molecules like new 5GC, endotoxins, and heme iron. When we consume animal products, it also changes the microbiome, the bacteria that live in our gut. And the bacterial species that have been shown to promote inflammation overgrow and begin to produce inflammatory mediators like TMAO. The study that showed that a single hamburger impairs blood flow also showed that it can increase measures of inflammation by 70%. In the arteries, inflammation reduces blood flow. In muscles and joints, it can increase soreness and delay recovery. In plant-based protein, you're getting protein that's packaged with antioxidants, phytochemicals, minerals, and vitamins that are gonna reduce inflammation, optimize the microbiome, optimize blood supply, and optimize your body's performance. The antioxidants Dr. Stoll was talking about are found almost entirely in plants, which have, on average, 64 times the antioxidant content of animal foods. Even iceberg lettuce has more antioxidants than salmon or eggs. As a result, switching to a plant-based diet can help reduce measures of inflammation by 29% in just three weeks. I was about ready to retire as I should have been because I'm like 35 at that time, but I just kept getting better. And so they had to take me to the Olympics. <laughs> we were complete underdogs as Team USA in our semifinal ride against Australia. We were down by 1.7 seconds. No one's ever come back in Team Pursuit from a deficit that large. And we beat them on the line by eight one hundredths of a second. I was 39 and a half years old when I stood on the Olympic podium. I'm still the oldest person, male or female, to even go to the Olympic Games in my event. My diet was the most powerful aspect to me being able to perform and produce for the U.S. team at the Olympic Games. All of these athletes and their stories were impressive, but my goal from the beginning was to recover from actual injuries, like the damage I'd done to my knees. And he's down at the line of scrimmage in the arms of Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan had been on a similar journey. In the NFL, the injury rate is 100%. It's a violent game. Hit hard and goes down there. And so how you respond to injury and how quickly you heal from injury is important. Because if you're not on the field, you're not helping the team. I was reading the research and seeing that a plant-based diet could be beneficial specifically for recovery. And so I started incorporating it and I started seeing really good results with it. I was recovering better. 
I wasn't getting as sore. I was a lot less swollen. Basically to confirm what I was feeling, I got my blood tested. Six months after being on the diet, all of my markers were down, my blood pressure, my cholesterol. But the main thing I was looking at was the inflammation marker in your, in your blood and mine was almost obsolete. It wasn't there anymore. A whole food plant-based diet is gonna optimize the growth of blood vessels into damaged tissue. It's gonna lay down new tissue in tendons and muscles. It's gonna stimulate their immune system to fight off infections. So almost at every level, eating the right foods is going to accelerate the healing process. Six weeks into my personal plant-based experiment, I went to the gym to see if I could notice a difference. I wasn't able to spar or wrestle yet, so I decided to hit the battling ropes. At my gym, lasting 10 minutes on the ropes gets your name on the wall. Only a few people had ever hit 20 minutes. Even at the peak of my conditioning, the most I'd ever got was eight minutes. James, keep it going. But on this day, I hit 10 minutes easily. Then I hit 20, 30. You're at 45 minutes. I thought, holy shit, I'm gonna do an hour. I went past the hour mark by about one minute and just thought, all right, that'll do. I can't believe you just did that, man. The only thing that had changed was my diet. I could have kept going. That's <laughs> yeah, the record, right? Yeah. Freaking hour. When I was growing up, the toughest guy in the world to me was my dad. He taught me the value of self-defense and was always there to help me when I got into trouble. But now, he was the one who needed help. So you had a heart attack? Correct. Had you had much in the way of symptoms prior to this episode? No, never before. The first... After my dad got out of the hospital following emergency heart surgery, we got on a Skype call with Dr. Coldwell Esselstyn, an internationally renowned heart disease researcher from the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, always been, I think, 